This is my pre-algebra course. Today you're going to take test number three. If you didn't do the practice test from the last class, do those practice tests before watching this video. As you can see, in front of us we have the, uh, the directions for how to grade your test. So I'm not going to go over this again because uh, you've, you've already seen this twice in this course. But just remember that uh, you need to do all these things or else you're going to lose points. So you can take a screenshot of this page and uh, use this. You can have it right in front of you while you're taking your test so you know what to do and uh, how to, uh, how to uh, write your test. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at the test. So here's the test. Here's the first two pages and the second two pages. And the last two pages. So you should uh, clear all your stuff off your desk. And you need a timer. Be sure to time yourself. You should finish in between one and two hours. But you may finish even faster than one hour. That's okay. Um, be sure to try your best. And uh, there's, as you can see, as usual, there's 25 questions, four points each for a total of 100 points. And you want to get at least a 70. That's a passing score. But really, you should uh, you should aim for 100%. And uh, you should turn off your computer. Um, all you need is a as a pencil and paper. Don't use any 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 books. No help from anybody anyone. You got to do this on your own. And uh, so, go ahead and uh, pause the video or turn off the video, and take the test. And uh, I mentioned uh, what what exactly I want on the in the previous class. So you should know know uh, what what I what I expect. So go ahead and. Take this test, and when you come back, start the video again, and we'll talk about how to grade your test. All right, we're back. Now let's talk about how to grade your test. So, um, as usual, if there are two parts, that means that each part is worth two points. And if there are four parts, like this problem, then each part is worth one point. And let's see. So um, let's go ahead and look at the answers. So here's the answers. Take a screenshot of that. And go ahead and grade your paper. So here's the uh, the grading rules, and uh, after you're done grading your paper, uh, we'll talk about how to interpret your grade. So go ahead and pause the video, grade your paper, and uh, when you're done, start the video again. All right, we're back. So if you scored uh, 90 to 100, that means you know the material really well. If you uh, scored 80 to 89, that means you know the material well, but you have some uh, minor issues you need to work on. If you scored 70 to 79, that means you know the material, but you have some major issues you have to work on. And if you scored less than a 70, that means you uh, most likely uh, did not study for the test. So um, if you didn't study for the test, then um, that and if you if you didn't if you didn't do well in the in the previous two uh, tests that probably means that uh, you're just wasting your time in this course. Um, so uh, you can uh, buy a textbook and start doing practice problems, or just go back and look at the problems in this uh, this class this uh, course, and just start reviewing and reviewing. But uh, you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be uh, left behind. And you're just going to be wasting your time. Now, if you did pass the test, I'm proud of you. That means you're starting to accelerate through this through the uh, academic system. So, uh, it, uh, 
that's uh, that's the the class for today. Hopefully you did well in the test, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next class.